Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing experience based testing techniques. So let's get started. In most of the structured based testing techniques, such as statement and decision testing, specifications for testing the software are already provided. However, in situations in which sufficient specifications aren't available for creating test cases, you have to rely on your experience as a skilled tester. This is called experience-based testing. In experience-based testing, you rely on past experience with similar technologies to help determine the areas likely to contain errors. You use your skill and intuition to locate defects that can't be found using any other testing technique. Experience-based technique is also called ad hoc testing. In ad hoc testing, test details are either created spontaneously or as a reaction to the functionality of the software system. Because experience-based testing is open-ended and doesn't follow any specification, you need to keep two factors in mind. Managing time and effort and tracking test coverage. You have to perform the test execution in time-boxed manner. The time allocated for testing the software would depend on the risk associated with the test conditions and the complexity of the area to be tested. To track coverage, you should come up with high-level test scenarios. Each scenario should also have a time box which will say how much time you are going to take to test that scenario. Since you are going to perform ad hoc testing, Setting time box is important. You should exceed the time limit only if the product contains an unexpected number of bugs. One type of experience-based testing technique is error guessing. In this technique, you guess the location of an error according to your testing experience with previous applications. Examples of error guessing technique include division by zero, no input values in a field, empty files, and entering wrong data in a field. Exploratory testing technique is another kind of experience-based testing technique. It is a combination of ad hoc and structure-based testing. You typically perform exploratory tests if specifications are missing or if they are insufficient or if time is limited. You perform exploratory tests in addition to specification-based tests to ensure that most of the critical defects are detected. Based on the experience, the testers decide the aspect of the product to be tested the coverage of the test and the time frame within which the testing should be completed. In exploratory testing, you learn about the software by exploring it and figuring out how it works. When you explore the system, you make decisions about what to test within the stipulated time. To perform exploratory tests, you follow a sequence of steps. They are understanding how the system works, making guesses regarding the location of errors, designing a test case to check for bugs, and executing the test. When time is limited, skilled testers design and execute test cases in parallel. Therefore, while the tests are performed, you need to simultaneously document the test cases and test conditions 
because no separate time is allotted for documenting. You should generate a test log that contains the main aspect of the tested product, defects if any, and the strategies implemented to discover those defects. You can also use exploratory tests when you want to provide feedback on a new product or feature. Exploratory testing performed by skilled and experienced testers can be more beneficial and effective than structured tests performed by less experienced testers. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you have liked it. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Till then, happy testing!